Hey everybody, how's it going? We almost made it to the end of Friday and I thought I'd make a quick video here to talk about the injury reports and as the year goes on I might make this a bit of a recurring video just taking a look at the final injury report on Friday afternoon to see where both teams stand so we can get an idea of what we've got and what we're up against. I don't know, I might go ahead and make that a recurring Thing on this channel. So, either way, this injury report is something to behold. And we will not see this again for a long time. I don't think this has ever happened under Pete Carroll. In fact, I think it was addressed. I think somebody actually went back and determined that this has never happened under Pete Carroll. The Seattle Seahawks have a clean injury report on Friday. Nobody has been declared out. Nobody is doubtful. Nobody is questionable. Uh, on your screen right now, I'll move my head in case you don't believe me and move my chair. There's nobody there. Nobody's questionable. And I believe that's not happened under Pete Carroll before. And you very rarely see this in the NFL. So... We can really count our blessings on that front. Uh, whatever else is going on with this team that we don't like so much, whatever we could possibly be upset about in terms of the players that we acquired, the players we kept, the players we didn't keep, the coaches we have, nobody's healthier than us right now. And on a day like today where we see the Dallas Cowboys who were kind of sort of on top of the world after last night when they played so well and almost beat Tampa Bay going from that to today finding out that Michael Gallup and Lyle Collins are probably gone for at least a month. So now they're all feeling like, oh, here we go again. It really kind of shines a light on how nice this is. So every player on the active Seahawks roster, this is obviously doesn't count the guys who are already put on IR, are available for action in week one. Now, there's still some interesting stuff here. Uh, Chris Carson showed up on the injury report with a neck injury. He did not miss any practice time, but a neck? Yeah, you don't like to hear that. You know, I mean, you don't want to hear anything but a calf, a hamstring, a, an ankle, a, a abdomen, a, things like that. It, they sound like typical football injuries. But a neck sounds like something that can end your career. So I'm like, what's going on there? Uh, we, we did see that Dwayne Eskridge went from limited participation earlier this week to full participation the last two practices, Thursday and Friday, which is a pretty big deal because he's got a lot to live up to this year. Ethan Posick is practicing in full now as of today, which I have a feeling we're going to need him sooner rather than later, so that's incredibly important. Um, Sidney Jones was a full practice today. In fact, everybody practiced in full except for two resting veterans, which is completely cool. I don't think any Seahawks fans are upset about giving Dwayne Brown and Gabe Jackson days off on practice. And DK Metcalf, who was a surprise last day addition to the injury report with a calf, which, I mean, we don't really like that, but he's in no doubt he's going to play. There, Nobody is doubting that he's going to play as of right now, so... Can't be too concerned about it. So, this is pretty sweet. We've got all of our guns loaded. And, yes, I know technically we don't have Colby. We don't have Trey Brown. We don't have et cetera, et cetera. A couple of guys, but come on. I don't think we're missing anybody who was going to start unless you really believe Trey Brown was going to start, which I don't. So, there are still going to have to be some inactive players that we declare. I think you have to declare like seven or eight players inactive before the game. And you, you might see us declare a couple offensive linemen inactive. You might see us declare a running back inactive. Uh, maybe a defensive lineman. You might see a guy like Brian Monet declared inactive. But uh, that's something that we'll find out about an uh, hour or two before kickoff. We're not going to worry about that too much right now. The important point is... We have a full roster to choose from right now. It will not get better than this. This is football. This is a violent game. People get hurt. People get dinged up. 
You're not going to see this again this year. I can pretty much guarantee you that unless Indy decides to play flag football against us on Sunday. Then maybe we can get through the whole game without anybody getting nicked. But short of that, you're not going to see this again. So appreciate it while it is on your screen. Uh, Carol did make a couple of interesting comments earlier. Basically said that we, we still have an open competition at basically every corner spot except for the outside starters. He said Amadi and Blair are still competing for nickel. Uh, John Reed and uh, eventually Trey Brown and bless you on Austin um, are all competing for backup roles on the outside. And he basically said nothing's been resolved. So I, 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 I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's interesting. All right. Now, Indy. Indy, they are not as bad as we thought, but it's not great. So Let's go through this injury report, which was released a little bit ago from Colts Twitter. Xavier Rhodes did not practice all week. He's out. I'll tell you right now, that's a big deal. That is a big deal. He is their best corner. I think their number one corner right now is Rock Yassin, who was a guy I looked at in the draft. I remember that name very, very vividly because it's such a distinctive name. Um, I kind of liked him, but I... I don't know if at this point in his career he should be a number one corner. So beyond that, I I don't think they have anybody that I'm aware of being good behind Rakiasin. So no Xavier Rhodes. And I understand Xavier Rhodes wasn't particularly good two years ago when he was on the Vikings. David Moore was roasting him in that Vikings game a couple years back. But uh, Xavier Rhodes not being in there, that's a problem. So... Right then and there, you got to be looking at this offense and going, okay, we got to find ways to get our talented receivers against their injured secondary, against these bad corners. So Xavier Rhodes being out, that's a big deal for that defense. Eric Fisher's out, but I think that was understood that he's not going to be back for a while. He technically practiced all week, but he's still out. So the, the blindside protector for Carson Wentz is going to be... I, I don't I don't even know. I can't even remember his name. Some people were saying it was a Teco, I think his name was. But I think Teco went on injured reserve too. So they're going to have a true no-name left tackle out there. So Dunlap, Taylor, Alton, whoever gets on that side of the line on any given snap, this is your opportunity to wreak havoc. Don't waste it. If we struggle to get pressure on Carson Wentz against this offensive line then I'm going to have to re reevaluate my priors. Also out is Kimoko Ture, a uh, defensive end. I don't believe he's a starter for them, so not a particularly big deal. Uh, Carson Wentz is going to play. They've confirmed that. We kind of already knew that, but Carson Wentz is going to play. Quentin Nelson, limited practice yesterday, full practice today, questionable. I think he's going to play, which continues to blow me away. He was probably not 100%. Probably not all the way back. That that surgery he had is, I mean, they're cutting you open. It's no joke. And he's got recurring back issues, I think. So, Quentin Nelson, he'll probably play. I don't think he's all the way back, but maybe he's back enough. And that's really um, about it. Uh, that's really all you can report. It's uh, not a great injury report. Xavier Rhodes and uh, Eric Fisher are two key starters for this team, and Quentin Nelson might be their best player on offense. So... They have problems, we don't. It's just another reason why we should be able to take care of business. All right, see you guys later tonight. Peace out, go Hawks. That's the injury report for week one.